स्टूडेंट्स मैं सिल्फ अब्दुल लतीफ पी एम फ्रॉम बिरला पब्लिक स्कूल दोहा कथर टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग वन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम सी बी एस ई बोर्ड एग्जाम टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन सर सिंपल एंड डायरेक्ट बट दिस क्वेश्चन इज लिटिल बिट हायर एंड फ्रॉम द हायर क्लास टेक्सट बुक सो हियर वी कैन डिस्कस हाउ टू सॉल्व इट विद इन सिंपल डायरेक्ट students first of all we can read the question once see if the sum of the first p terms of nap is the same as the sum of its first q terms for p not equal to q then show that the sum of first p plus q terms is zero this is the question see for doing this question first of all you must know one of the equation from this chapter i'm writing i'm explaining that equation first see sum of n terms of nap first n terms of nap is sum usually we denote it as asn sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d where a is the first term and d is the common difference this is the one of the equation that we must know for doing for solving this question see in this question it is given that sum of p terms is same as sum of its q terms so we can write as p sum of p terms equal to s q that is sum of q terms so using this equation we can write p by 2 into 2 a plus P minus one into d equal to here a is the first term, d is the common difference equal to q by two into two a plus q minus one into d. This is by the question. S P and S Q are same. From here. We can cancel one by two from left side and right side. That is, this by two get cancelled. Next step, we can distribute this p to inside the bracket. Usually, we are doing like two a p and p into this term plus. There also we are distributing inside p minus one also. That is. P square d minus p d. At the same time, when we are distributing p, we are distributing d also inside the bracket. That's why the term is two a p p square d minus p d. The same procedure can be done here also on the RHS. That is two a q. We are distributing q to inside the bracket. Plus, as we did here, we are distributing d also at the same time. That is, q square d minus q d. This is the third step. Next, I am taking all terms on right side to the left, transposing three terms on the right side to the left. So we will get two a p plus P square d minus p d. These are the term on left side. I'm transposing the terms from uh, right side to left. That is, plus two a q become minus two a q. My plus q square d become minus q square d. Minus q d become plus q d. Equal to. If we transpose all terms left side, the remaining term here it is zero. 
Then next, see here 2ap and 2 minus 2ap are here. We can take 2a common from these two terms. Then we can write 2a into p minus q. The same thing here, p square d and minus q square d. The d is a common term. That is plus p square minus d square minus q square into d. Then next term minus pd and plus qd. From these two terms, I am taking minus d outside. Minus pd plus qd. When we are taking minus d outside from that two terms, we will get, see, minus d into p minus q. Left side again it is zero. Now, three terms are here. In these three terms, we can see p minus q is the common term. See, here it is p minus q. Here, p square minus q square. Using the identity a square minus b square, we can write it as p plus q into p minus q. I am writing that suppose over here for our convenience. 2 into p minus q plus I am factorizing this term using the identity. So we will get p plus q into p minus q into d minus d into p minus q equal to 0. Now p minus q is a common term on these terms so we can divide each term by p minus q we are dividing each term by p minus q so this become 2a into p minus q by p minus q so this term become 2a plus here p plus q into p minus q into d by p minus q so remaining term will be p plus q into d here minus d again we are taking d common from last two terms we will get 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d equal to c so we got this relation here 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d equal to 0. I am giving this as number 1. So now we are coming to the required result. We want to prove the sum of p plus q term equal to 0. See, we know sum of p plus q term means s p plus q. This is the notation of sum of p plus q terms. Its result is using this same equation. We can write p plus q by 2 into 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d. This is the result for p plus q terms sum. See, here, from the equation number 1, 2a plus p plus q minus 1 into d equal to 0. We are substituting this result here. So, this become p plus q by 2 into 0, that is equal to 0. That is a proof. Hence, proved. Hence, proved. See, this is the simple answer for this question i hope you understand the methods and here two things are applied one is sn equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d the second one is here p square minus q square we are factorizing it using a square minus b square equal to a plus b into m minus q